What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to dive deeper into my phone scripts, the philosophies, dialogue, so on and so forth, and especially for you new subscribers who haven't went back and looked at some of my older videos on my phone scripts, this will be good. Plus, I'm adding a little bit to it because as I move forward in the business, and I'm getting better and better and better, I'm still adapting, I'm still tweaking, I'm still trying to make my scripts better and try to figure out new ways to communicate with people better and to effectively communicate who I am as a person who really wants to help others, right? I want to communicate that to the world. So I'm trying to get better and better and as I move along and I learn new things, I'm definitely going to share those with you. At the end of this video, you can go in the description. I'm going to put a link to my latest live cold calling session where I called expired listings. This was a really, really inspiring an incredible session. I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you get a lot out of it as well. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Iconic. For those of you who don't know, Iconic is the company that makes those motivational artwork pieces and sells them online, delivers them to your house. Okay, and I want you guys to check them out if you haven't already. There's a lot of motivational stuff. I have them all over my videos. You can go to Iconic.com backslash Ricky for the best deal possible. Go there pick out a motivational piece of work and order it, let them bring it to your house, put it up in your office so that you can continue to stay motivated just like me. And also, I'm still giving away free signed copies of my book, List to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. This is like the Bible, okay? This is everything I learned in the crash of the late 2000s when I lost everything and how I came back to be on top and stay on top. This last little, little crash, if that's what you want to call it, it wasn't a real estate crash, but transactions did go down quite a bit there momentarily, and we don't really know where the market's going from here. Here. However, I never was swayed. I never got nervous. I knew exactly how to handle that situation. And I was ready, guys. I was ready for it to get worse than it, than it was. I was ready for worst case scenario. And I'm still ready for worst case scenario. So everything that I do to prepare is in this book. And if you comment below, uh, I'm gonna pick a winner and I'm gonna send you a signed copy of this book. And also I wanna thank you guys so much for tuning in, subscribing, hitting the like button, all that good stuff, spreading my message out there. All I'm trying to do is help as many people as humanly possible, okay? So I wanna thank you guys so much for that. Very, very grateful for you. Okay, let's get into the script. So when we're circle prospecting, let's take circle prospecting for example, where we're picking out a neighborhood, okay, we're, we're, we're picking out a sell or a listing or something that's pending in that particular neighborhood and we want to call the rest of the neighborhood about that piece of market information. We're bringing market information to the prospect, okay, we're bringing value to the prospect through letting them know about this particular specific market data point that we think they should know about, okay, and we're also seeing if there's anything that we can do to help them in the process okay so let's let's walk through this because here's where a lot of people are messing up because I'm talking to agents all over the place and you know there's there's a couple things that I'm seeing the first thing is is that people are cutting them off okay they're they're hanging up on them you know five seconds into the call so on and so forth stuff like that and I say well why do you think they're doing that oh well they're busy or they're not having a good day or they're this or they're that and I said that's wrong that's not the reason why people are cutting you off and not letting you talk anymore, okay? If that was the case, if they were too busy, why did they answer the phone? Right? If, if they were too busy, then why would they answer the phone in the first place? They are just too busy to answer the phone, but they're not too busy to answer the phone because they're not too busy to talk to you, okay? The problem is you. It's not the prospect, it's not what we're going to do, it's you, okay? You, they gave you a chance. They gave you a little one or two second chance to prove to them that you were worth talking to and you blew it, okay? They gave you an opportunity and you blew it, okay? You have to grab their attention right from the very first second of the conversation. They have to feel like you care right off the bat. They can't feel like you're a robot. They can't feel like you're a salesperson. They can't feel any kind of negativity or any red flags whatsoever or they're gone okay so this is all dependent on you 
Not them, they're giving you the opportunity. Okay, so we have to take advantage of the opportunity. Okay, so when someone picks up the phone, now it could be, an expire call. It could be a for sale by owner. It could be circle prospecting. It could be any kind of sales call. You could be selling anything, life insurance, you know, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. When you're calling, this is my strategy, okay? I want to I want to get get their attention immediately. When they say hello, let's say it's John, let's say it's you know Brandon Johnson, okay? When they answer the phone, I'm gonna say, hey Mr. Johnson. Okay, that's my opening. Hey, Mr. Johnson? Okay, you see what I did there? Because a lot of people say, hey, is Mr. Johnson there? Okay, that's a long sentence. It takes up a lot of time. It's a lot of time to say it. Okay, people want direct, they want quick, they don't, they don't want to waste a lot of time. Okay, you gotta get them quick. You can't say too many words. Every little word counts. Okay, so also when you're saying, is this Mr. Johnson or is Mr. Johnson there, that's a yes or a no. They could just say no and hang up, right? However, if you catch them off guard and you say, hey, Mr. Johnson, now I've only said two words, really three if you count Mr. Okay, and I've also, I went up an octave at the end to make it sound like a question so that I am saying basically, is this Mr. Johnson, but I'm not saying, is this Mr. Johnson? I'm saying Mr. Johnson, right? Mr. Johnson, where it sounds like a question, but I only use three words instead of how many ever words is in the complete question, okay? So we have to compress, compress, right? And that octave, when I move that octave up, it gets their attention and they're thinking, okay, yes, this is he, right? And you kind of got him, you kind of got him backpedaling for a second. You're getting their attention and now you have to deliver. Now you have to deliver with the confidence. If they hear the confidence in your voice after that moment, then you're gonna, the momentum of the conversation is gonna continue to move forward. Okay, so, you know, hello. Hey, Mr. Johnson? Uh, yes. Hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth down at EXP Realty in Gulf Shores. How are you doing today? Okay, you see how I made little pauses. You see how, you know, the tone of my voice, the speed of my voice, okay, and I'm asking him how he's doing. You see how that works? It's very subtle. It's, just, we're just asking him how he's doing. A lot of agents will call, they'll have this, hey, is this Mr. Johnson? You know, and then they're like, hey, Mr. Johnson, I was just calling all the, the people in your neighborhood, just calling, calling around to see if anybody might consider selling today, right? Ah! They're gonna hang up on you, click, 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 and the agent wonders why, what did I do wrong? I'll tell you what you did wrong, you're focused on the sale. You're not focused on the relationship. You're not focused on seeing what you can do to help someone. You might, you might in your mind, you might be you know, thinking, I wanna help people, but that's not how you're communicating to people. I want you to communicate that you wanna help people. I want people to hear it in your voice. I want people to hear it through your words. I don't want you to just think it, but then they think something totally different. Okay, get on the same page with me here. And you guys can download my scripts for free. Link in the description, zerotodiamond.com. Go there, do the 90 day action plan. After 90 days, let me know, email me so we can get on a call and I can talk to you about your specific problems that you're having with the script. Let's role play. Let's talk about why you can't do this, why you can't do that. You're trying to go full time. Whatever your problems are, let me help you through these problems. Now, we're saying, hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth down at EXP Realty and Gulf Shores. How you doing today? Oh, uh, we're doing good, Ricky, we're doing good. How about you? I'm doing great, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Bam, <laughs> right? I'm not asking him to buy or sell anything. I'm having a really great conversation with him. And it could be anything. You could say, oh, I'm getting by. You guys getting ready for Thanksgiving? How was your Christmas? How about them bears? You know, whatever it is, some kind of current events happening, coronavirus, I used that whenever the, the pandemic was going on. Whatever it is, right? Small talk for a second. But here's the thing. It's got to be a statement and a question. Short, sweet, to the point. I'm doing good. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Because that question at the end gives them a moment to respond, okay? That's what you want. You want this to be a back and forth. In the beginning, you're saying, Mr. Johnson, he responds. You say, what you say, how are you doing? He responds. You say, I'm enjoying the weather, isn't it gorgeous? They respond. 
Okay, that's what you want, back and forth. That's how a conversation goes. You talk, I talk. You talk, I talk. Okay, we want to get to a point where we're just listening. The more we listen, the more they're talking, the more they're comfortable. And that's what we want in the end. That's what I want you guys to remember here. When they're talking, they're feeling comfortable. Okay, and that's your number one job as a salesperson, right? And as a real estate agent or any salesperson is to help your prospects and clients feel comfortable with you. That's the only way they're gonna do business with you if they feel comfortable with you. Okay, now you say, hey, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? They say, whatever, maybe there's some kind of awkwardness and be ready for this transition. You're gonna say, well, great. Well, look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but a house around the corner just sold and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. Right, not low pressure, you know, we're not, not threatening anything, we're just seeing if we can help. Hey, here's some market information, here's some value. Let me just give you some value, and then I wanna see if there's anything I can do to help you and bring you more value. It's all about just giving, 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 giving. Normal situations, sometimes they say, yeah, they're looking to do something, maybe, great, follow that, right, see where it leads. Most of the time they're gonna say, no, we're good, okay, whatever. Um, at that point, we're gonna say, I got you. Well, look, is there an agent that you would work with if you were to do something? All right, let's throw it out there and let's figure out where we stand in this whole equation of a relationship with this prospect, right? Do they have a strong relationship with place? Is their mom an agent? Is their cousin, is their best friend from high school an agent? Okay, no, no, we don't really have one. Good, well look, I'm sure at some point in the future, maybe five or 10 years down the road, I don't know, at some point you are going to buy or sell something and I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? Nothing threatening so far, I haven't tried to sell them anything, just saying, hey, is it okay if I stay in touch? They say yes, of course. Sound like a really, you know, upstanding person, of course you can stay in touch with me. Great, what's a good email address? Bam! Now we're getting some somewhere here. Now we're getting some contact information that we can start to develop a personal brand through a weekly email that should be going out every week on the same day of the week forever. It's literally how I sell 100 properties a year with zero cold calls. Quit making cold calls three or four years ago. I rely only on my weekly email. I don't even do social media in my real estate business. Now, if you notice there at the end of the script, I'm asking them if it's okay if I stay in touch before I ask for the email address. This is crucial, because most agents say, hey, can I stay in touch with you, what you, you know, by via email? And their people are like, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You wanna say, hey, was it, would it be all right if I just stayed in touch? Never say, I wanna send you a market report, or can I send you market information from time to time, or let me send you stuff on this or that. Don't say that. You wanna make this personable. Remember, relationship, okay? So you just wanna say, hey, is it okay if I stay in touch? Would it be all right if I just stayed in touch with you? They say yes, okay, great, what's a good email? Bam. Then you wanna say, is this, just cell, is this your cell phone number that we're talking on? Now you got their email, you got their cell number, you got all the other information on the tax records or wherever you got their data, okay? And then boom, you are off to the races with building a personal brand to that person for the rest of their life till they buy or die. Now if you guys want the very best data for property owners to circle prospect, expires for rent by owners, for sale by owners, and a dialer, the very best is Red X, hands down, okay? You can save $150 dollars right now link in the bio and you can save hundred fifty dollars right now link in the description below or go to zero to diamond.com there's a link save hundred and fifty dollars on Red X they waive the startup fee and you're off to the races it's the very best data out there okay guys I hope this really helps you with my phone scripts I hope it clarified a few things or put things into perspective for you please reach out shoot me a comment or DM me on Instagram or if there's any questions or any Anything I can do for you whatsoever and I want you guys to get out there and start crushing it I want to see you guys take it to the moon okay I'll see you guys on the next video let's go